Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Bless his holy name. Thank you so much for viewing Christian Care Ministry, your host, Louis Ruffin. Thank God for you. Oh, yeah, I just want to share this with you. Amen. We went to court, and uh, things went favorable with the person uh, that I went there with to support. Amen. And it's something, amen, about what the Lord will do when you honor his man or woman of God. And so I, I am very thankful that things turned out favorable. And, of course, no, I'm, I haven't heard from that person uh, uh, since then. No, no. But it's all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all right. I had that opportunity. Uh, it was a privilege and honor uh, to help that person. i known that family for uh, three generations. Yeah, so uh, it, it's all right. Amen. Uh, bless his holy name. Christian Care Ministries, your host, Louis Ruffin. Uh, we want to offer prayer now, and uh, we want to give the scripture to you in James 5, 14. Amen. James 5, 14. Mm -hmm. Is anyone among you sick? Mm -hmm. Let him call for the elders of the church. and Let them pray over him and anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And Lord, we want to thank you, amen, uh, for Total Restoration Ministries. We want to thank you, oh God, for how you healed, amen, uh, one of our members of cancer, amen. We thank you, Lord, amen. We thank you, oh God, for others, amen, that have requested prayer and have been healed, that have been delivered, that have been set free. We thank you, oh God, because you are a prayer-answering God. And, Lord, we make our requests known with thanksgiving uh, unto you. And we thank you because you're God, and beside thee there is none other. So we thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Uh, those that are sick, Lord, we ask you to heal them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And those that call for the elders of the church, Lord, we thank you because your word is impossible for you to lie. And we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. And those that are obedient to your word, oh God, you will give them the gift of repentance, the gift of faith, oh God, and the gift of humility, oh God. Amen. And by your stripes, we are healed. So we ask you to heal them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, someone has a migraine headache, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, they keep occurring and reoccurring, oh Lord. And uh, there is seems to be no uh, medicine that will uh, permanently remove uh, the migraine. But oh God, you are a migraine mover. Hey, go. In the name of Jesus, we ask you, oh God. We plead the blood of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Mm. Uh, migraine's gone. Every trace of it is gone. It shall not return. Oh, yes, I remember a season in my life so many years ago. Amen. And uh, this person, amen, said, you know, I keep getting uh, uh, headaches, uh, Elder. And I said, well, uh, you want to get rid of the headache? And the person said, well, yes. I said, all right. So the person happened, excuse me, happened to be at my house, and I said, well, I'll just come over and lay hands on you, and the headache will be gone. The migraine will be gone. Hey, glory! Thank you, Jesus. God! It's a migraine mover. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Amen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your faith has made you whole. Mm. Amen. Bless his holy name. So we are uh, talking uh, uh, on this session, amen, about I'm not here. And we used that on our last time about Joseph. And, uh, so many people are familiar with Joseph of the Old Testament. You know, the son of Jacob uh, and Rachel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A Hebrew. Yeah. A, a Israelite. Yeah. Uh, God chosen people. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's in the Bible. He chose them. You had nothing to do with it. And who God has blessed you cannot curse. Hey, glory. So at any rate, uh, we're talking about disciple. Talking about disciple, yeah. Being a disciple, yeah. You know, it costs something to be a disciple. It's about prayer. Disciples pray. See, you know, Apostle Paul in the New Testament, you know, uh, uh, he was so bad, he had to change his name. He went from Saul to Paul. <laughs> Uh, don't you want some people in your life to change their name because they were so bad at one point and now they, they've turned a new leaf, so to speak. They are, are different now. 
Amen. Because they saw the light. Because you know that's what Paul did. He saw the light on the road to Damascus. And he was a chained man. And then I didn't want nothing to do with him. He said, oh, I, I know about this uh, this Saul. Yeah. I, I, I know about him. Yeah, he's got letters to kill uh, anybody. Uh, man, woman, boy, or girl. They calls on the name of Jesus. Yeah. And then I said, well, no, I don't want to go see him. But the Lord said, uh, he praying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this is what a lot of people lack today is prayer life. That's right. Mm -hmm. Cannot be a disciple of the Lord if you don't pray. Because mm -hmm. if you don't pray, you're going to stay. You're going to stay in hate. Yeah. And bitterness and envy and jealousy and malice and wrath. And all those works of the flesh that will carry you to hell. Because you can't enter the kingdom of God with those kind of things. No, you cannot. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to stay. No. No, I'm not here to stay. Oh, no. You know, Saul, he uh, thought he was doing the right thing. Man, yeah, because he was killing everybody that calls on the name of Jesus. And you know, there's people today that they, they're not calling on that name. No, they're not. No, they don't call. They'll call every name ha! but the name of Jesus. But I tell you, Jesus' name is a name above uh, every name. For the Bible declares, mm hmm Whatsoever you do in word or in deed, do it all in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. It's all about the name of Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're his disciples, you're going to do, amen, what he said do. Yes, yeah, right. That's right. Because wasn't there a, a course of the Bible in John uh, 15 where Jesus says, I don't call you servants anymore. I call you friends because you do whatever I command you. And his commandment is that you love one another, I'm not here to stay. Mm -mm. Oh, no, 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 no. You cannot stay, amen, in ugliness when God called you to be beautiful because he declares uh, way back in the Old Testament, worship the Lord uh, in the beauty of holiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> there's something about it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, this Joseph, he was something, wasn't he? Didn't he have a life going from the pit to the palace? Right. Mm -hmm. and then to the guardian, amen, of the whole world at that time, amen, because God gave him a plan that everything went through his hand, amen, and everybody was able to stand because they listened to Joseph. Somebody ought to listen to the word of God. Mm. Joseph said, I'm not here to stay. And he says, oh, hey, by the way, Let's have a family meeting, yeah. Let's have a conference, yes, let's have a conference. And, and I'm not here to stay. So when I die, don't leave my bones here. <laughs> and either, take my bones with you. <laughs> when you go back to the promised land, yeah. I'm not here to stay. I'm talking about a disciple. You know, a disciple's got a goal, yeah. Yes, he does. He has a goal. Don't you know a disciple has a goal? Yeah. Uh, has a purpose, <laughs> Uh, has a, a preparation? Yeah. You know that, don't you? When you look in the Bible, aren't you a Bible person? Don't you believe in the Bible, the Word of God? You cannot be God's disciples if you don't believe in the Word of God. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about a, a manifesto of hatred. I'm talking about a manifesto of love. And that's the Bible, amen. It's about love. God so loved the Word, yeah. God so loved us. Uh, well, when we were yet sinners, he died for us. Yes, he did. When we were wrong, huh, what did he do? Huh, he died for us. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. He did that. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, this is Jesus talking, amen, to his disciples, amen. Yeah, in John 8, 31. Yeah. Then Jesus said to those Jews which believed on him. See, you got to believe. Yeah. Yeah, you got to believe. Mm-hmm. If you continue <laughs> in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. You don't hear much about that today, amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Jesus told 12. Uh -huh. He did have that 70, you know, yeah. But they didn't stay. You know, they didn't stay because they said it was a hard saying, amen. Amen, because uh, Jesus uh, gave them some spiritual information and they, being natural, didn't get it. They didn't catch it. It was over their head, right? And they couldn't get it through their stubborn will. No, 
uh, their obstinate ways. No, they couldn't get it. Mm -hmm. They got to eat of my flesh and drink of my blood. No, they didn't know what in the world that meant. No, they didn't. And some people today still don't know what that means. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm not here to stay. Mm -hmm. No, you're going to be called away one day. Yes, you are. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. We're going to be leaving here. Mm -hmm. You got to make sure your discipleship lines up, amen, according to the Word of God. You got to continue in the Word of God. Continue learning and doing and applying. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Not just being a hearer of the Word. Amen. Some of these people go to church on Sunday or Saturday, whatever day you choose. Amen. Because it's not about the day. Amen. It's about the Lord because He's the Lord of every day. Hey, yes, He is! Mm hmm. I'm not here to I'm not here to stay. No, I'm not. I'm not here to remain. Amen. I hope you're still not in the kindergarten. I hope you're a higher level than the kindergarten. Yes, I do. Because you know there were a group of people in the Bible when they should have been teachers, amen. But they were in such a predicament, they were regressing. They were going in reverse, amen. They needed somebody to teach them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But when you get the sure enough Holy Spirit. When you get the Spirit of God on the inside, I'm talking about the Spirit of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, because there's only one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. One God is above all, is of you all, is through you all. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's only one God. His name is Jesus. Yes. Yes. Mm hmm. And He puts His Spirit inside of you with a measure of faith. Yeah, we can measure up! You don't have to stay, amen, in the wrong. You can choose to do what is right. Yeah. Yeah. Disciples are a testimony. Yeah, everybody got a testimony, don't they? Sure. We overcome by uh, our testimonies. Amen. I'm not here to stay. No, sir. No, ma'am. I'm on my way. Yeah. 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 Mm, mm, mm. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here. We're talking about a disciple. A testimony. Not here to stay. Amen. Now, this is a disciple's trip. Amen. If we continue hmm, in the word of God. Don't let the word of God trip you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Verse uh, uh, number 34. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A new commandment I give unto you. This is Jesus talking to his disciples. Amen. That you love one another. If you don't have love, you are not his disciple. No, you're not. It's, it's just that simple. It's just that plain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you have hatred and you harbor hatred, and health, hatred is uh, what you work out of and not the love of God, amen, you cannot be. It disqualifies you. You're uncertified to be a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. That you love one another as I have loved you, and that you should love one another. Not hate, not killing. Stop the violence. Amen. Stop the violence. Mm. By this, verse 35, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples. Mm -hmm. If you have love, and some have not made the great, I'd mm -hmm. rather stay in that old man. In that spirit of Cain hate. Yeah. Mm. Hate is a strong force. In fact, the Bible declares uh, what God hates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you know that? Did you know that? Uh -huh. And some people have chosen uh, to stay in that state of hate. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, the commandment. The word of God, the commandment, yes, is a lamp. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And the law is light. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And reproofs of instruction are the way of life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's about the word of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Yeah. Jesus declared, I'm the light of the world. If you walk in me, you don't walk in darkness. I'm not here to stay. No, sir. No, ma'am. 
Because uh, we're going to be getting out of here one of these days. And how you live mm -hmm, is how you die. And if you live in hatred and you die in hatred, amen, you shall not have part in the first resurrection. No, sir. No, ma'am. Check your word of God out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, it's, it's open discipleship. It's open to everybody. Not just a particular person. No, it isn't. You know, I'm, I'm here to stay. You got to make up in your mind that you're going to stay uh, in discipleship. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you, know, it, you know, it's something about that, isn't it? About, a, about a, a, an open uh, discipleship. Uh, because uh, thank God that it's open because uh, we would be in a mess, right? We would be uh, in, a, in a fix, wouldn't we? Mm-hmm. About this open uh, discipleship, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, are you a disciple of Jesus Christ? Did Jesus call you? He called you before the foundation of the world. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you have an answer. You, you, you've, you've shut the door of your heart, and you failed to hear the word of God, and as a result, um, you're living in hatred. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Hatred is sin. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Mm -hmm. The Lord's trying to get into you. Yes, he is. <laughs> He's trying to open the door of your heart. Mm -hmm. He does not want you to take part in this wicked world, in this darkness. Mm -hmm. It's a perilous time. It's the beginning of sorrows. Earthquakes in diverse places. Wars and rumors of war. Uh, families hating family. Hey, glory. Um, I'm not here to stay. Joseph did not let hatred control him. He forgave his brothers even before they forgave him. When their eyes was open, they asked for forgiveness. We ought to ask the Lord for forgiveness of, of hating our, our fellow Americans. Yeah. <laughs> of whatever color. Yeah. Uh, we're here, amen, for just a moment. Hmm. And we're going to be gone uh, in the twinkling of an eye. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're we going to be getting out of here. Yes, we are. I'm old. I stand at the door and knock. He's knocking. Yeah. If any man, hmm, any man, this is humankind, if any man, this implies, amen, women too, if any man, because you know women came out of men. Yes, he did. God created Adam. Sure he did. And then God turned around and put Adam to sleep. <laughs> yeah, glory. Mm. Sweet sleep. Yeah. Behold, I give my beloved sleep. And here comes Eve, Adam and Eve. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Now, wonderful. Adam and Eve. Mm. All they had to do was address and keep the garden. Yeah. Yeah, sure enough. That's all they had to do. Mm -hmm. And they let one word turn the whole world upside down. Yeah. Say, so you should surely not die. Well, people have been dying. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. The day you do eat of, you're going to be dying. Yeah. So he didn't live a, a thousand days. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Uh, uh, 900. Mm hmm. Yeah, not under to something, but it wasn't a die. He didn't live a whole day. Amen. And then he got cast out of the garden. Oh, my good! Now he got to do a uh, uh, sweat. Uh, uh, yeah, inspiration. Inspiration, perspiration, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not here to stay. He was not uh, able to stay in the garden because of disobedience. Amen. Moses lost out because of disobedience. You can go all the way down the history uh, of mankind, of human men and women that have fell in sharp. Mm -hmm. They fell so sharp. Even the word of God declares, all have sinned and come sharp of the glory of God. But thank God we've been redeemed. Mm -hmm. Didn't they come to Joseph and say, we don't have no food? He gave them food. Yeah, yeah. And you may remember Jesus. What? Uh, he didn't need a whole lot of fish. No. Uh, he didn't need a whole lot of love. No. 
and then even have some left over. Gather up the fragments that none be lost. Glory to Jesus' name. Praise his holy name. I'm not here to stay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Talking about being a disciple. I stand and, and open the door. I will come in to him and will sup with him. And he, you'll be a changed man and you'll be a transformation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be not conformed to this world and all its hate. But be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't that something? Uh, shooting uh, innocent children. Uh, almost a newborn. Uh, shooting a, a senior that 80-something years old. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 through no fault of their own. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's what hatred will do. Hatred will make you do things that are senseless, that are ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hatred is not good. Unless, hey, look at Proverbs chapter 6. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's, see where, let's see where you are in that, in that Proverbs uh, chapter 6. Amen. Let me, turn to, let me turn to that right quick here. Proverbs uh, chapter 6. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, Bishop uh, Damon White uh, taught a series on the things that God hated, and uh, now let's see, uh, let's see where you are, Amen. Because you said you want to hate, uh, you love hating, so let's see what you can hate. Let's see what it's all right for you to hate. Mm -hmm, yeah, uh, okay, all right. Here we go. Proverbs chapter six. You got it. Verse number uh, sixteen. It's in the Bible, and it's about you, describing you, because mm -hmm, you like to hate. That's what you like to do. I mean, you like to run people down and, and discredit people, amen, and lie on people, amen, and say uh, uh, what they didn't do, uh, you know, twist the truth. You know, it's like Satan did, yeah. Mm -hmm. He just changed one word, and that's what you do, amen. Uh, we're saying it was uh, somebody's fault, but it was actually your fault, amen. Um, just ruining, uh, curating doubt, and casting fear, yeah, all of that. Talking about hate, right? Six things that God hates. Seven's an abomination. Oh my goodness, uh, that's a uh, that's a double hatred. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm not here to stay. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to finish that today, but uh, on the next time we're gonna finish that, and we're gonna uh, focus on Jesus on next time. But we're talking about Joseph, a type of Jesus Christ, and using him as an example. And we're talking about things uh, uh, about uh, a proud look, mm -hmm. a, a lying tongue. Hey, all liars. Are going to the lake, yeah. Mm -hmm. And wasn't there some uh, body who told about 20,000 lies? Mm. Uh, so he'd be 20,000 times in jail. <laughs> and that jail will be his prison of hell, yeah. Uh, he have his own private cell. <laughs> hey! Look. Seven on abomination on him. Uh, Proverbs uh, 6, 17. Amen. A proud look. A, a lying tongue. Amen. Uh, hands that shed uh, innocent blood, amen, uh, uh, killing uh, uh, those uh, immigrants uh, through abandonment and, and starvation uh, uh, and neglect and uh, causing them to uh, have sicknesses that they've never heard of before, uh, uh, seeking refuge and instead uh, find uh, uh, hatred, amen, and uh, uh, children, amen, uh, uh, being raped, being molested, being uh, assaulted, amen, uh, sex trafficking, and it goes on and on and on. A uh, proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked imaginations. Uh, you think because you're a certain color, amen, that you're better than anybody else, that is a wicked imagination. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because we're all fearfully and wonderfully made, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and feet that swift and run into mischief. Yeah, a false witness that speaketh lies. Oh, yeah, we're talking about things that God hates. And he that soweth discord among the brothers. Because we are brothers. Yes, we are. We all came from Adam and Eve, if you believe the word of God. Yeah, so that makes you my brother. Yeah. Hey, bro, I make sure my sister hates it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, the man came up with all those distinct races and all of that kind of foolishness, yeah. But if you believe the word of God, if you believe the Bible, yeah, 
You believe that we all came from Adam and Eve, and that there's only one race, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the human race, mm -hmm. not superhuman, but the human race. Mm -hmm. We're only divine mm -hmm. when we have the Holy Spirit on the inside. Yeah. In fact, if we don't have the Holy Spirit on the inside, we are none of his. That's right. Isn't that strong? Oh, my, that's, uh, that, is, that is so strong to make a statement uh, like that. Uh, I, I'm not here to stay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, uh, Joseph said, G uh, gather my bones and give me a body here. <laughs> yes, he did. Hey, you and I, we're not here to stay. We're going to be leaving here one day. And it's so important, amen, that we leave the right way. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. The word disciple is the fundamental principle of holy living. Yes, it is. Holy living is the style of people who recognize Jesus as a disciplinarian character of freedom. Mm -hmm. Let freedom ring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let it ring, yeah. From within, let it ring, yeah. Mm -hmm. The freedom that Jesus gives empowers people to believe, worship, and serve to glorify God in all manner of conversation. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Each disciple examines himself to determine his abiding power in the Word. The Word is the holy fruit that comes alive as a witness to the Word working by faith. Faith works by love, not hate. Faith works by love, not hate. Faith works by love, not hate. God is love. Mm -hmm. The true witness of discipleship is love one to another. Think about it for a minute. Believe that I am here. Believe that Jesus uh, is God, that he's our Savior, he's our Deliverer, he is our way maker. He is the King of Kings. Worship God in spirit and in truth. We're talking about discipleship, quality of being a disciple according to the Word of God. Serve poor religion, poor discipleship, and undefiled before God and the Father is this to visit the fatherless and keep yourself unspotted from the world. That's right. To visit the fatherless and widows in their afflictions. And we're having affliction today because of these mass shootings. Amen. We have those that are fatherless. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We have widows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Snatching life too soon because of hatred. It's such a tragedy. Oh, God help us. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got to work on ourselves to learn how to love one another. Yes. To do right by one another. I'm not here to stay. Joseph dreamed it. The Lord brought it to pass. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, they told some lies about him. Uh, the animal <laughs> must have got a hold of him. <laughs> ah, what those brothers meant for evil. God turned it around for good. Now, bless his holy name. Let's turn this evil away from us. Let's not let this evil stay and cause us to stray from loving one another. Let's put our love face on uh, and love one another and continue to live a holy life, a divine life uh, unto the Lord. Uh, blessings will come uh, when we prosper in the glory of the Lord. Uh, his glory is excellent. Praise his holy name. Thank God for the great things and the marvelous things that he's going to do when we learn to do right and bless him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
in a minute.